Hi, it's Megan. I have been eyeing the promotional pictures for the Charlotte Tilbury um, Norman Parkinson collection since it first started hitting the internet. And from what it looks like to me, these were released to some bloggers in the UK seemingly before anybody else got them. Because um, I saw some reviews and they were all bloggers in the UK. And essentially the collection is a collaboration with Norman Parkington, Parkinson, I'm going to pronounce it wrong, Parkinson's estate, she knows his son, and he was one of the biggest um, iconic fashion photographers going back through the 70s, 60s, and 50s I think too earlier and um, so she basically got to go through his archive of pictures and then put those images on this collection. So it's a limited edition collection. It's just now on the Charlotte Tilbury website and then we'll be hitting Nordstrom and all the other places that carry Charlotte Tilbury. Um, they said a week after it hit the Charlotte Tilbury um, site so that would be the weekend of the 4th of July but you know how these things are. They just kind of show up when they show up. And so what was in it were two makeup bags and two new matte lipsticks, a red and like a light blush pink, and an illuminator bronzer duo, and then a cheek, cheek and lip color, which I'm going to show you, and uh, just an illuminator. And yeah, that was it. And then you also had two different looks where you basically have some of the products and some of the regular collection, not limited edition, thrown in with just a look. And then you have one big box for $385, which has all just the Norman Parkinson limited edition. And so everything was special packaging, except the lipsticks. I don't know if they did a different color for the tube. I know that the mattes I have seem to be like more of a rose gold instead of the regular gold. And I like the Charlotte Tilbury mattes. I do think that they can be inconsistent in quality. Um, but I do really like them, but I'm a huge matte fan, and I'm kind of dying this summer with all the matte lipsticks that are out there. Um, so I did not get the two lipsticks, but what I did get was the illuminator and the blush. So I'm going to show those to you in one second, and I'm just going to do them in one video because, I don't know, it just seems crazy to do it in two videos. Um, I have had kind of mixed experiences in my opinion with the line Charlotte Tilbury. I really loved some products and then I felt other products just weren't that great. So I wasn't sure what I was thinking about this. Okay so first is the Color of Youth. It's special edition color. Um, $58. Capture the youthful soft focus of Parkinson's lens in case in a dreamy glamour of vintage Hollywood. So she says this is a color of love, youth, and happiness inspired by the love story of Norman Parkinson and his wife, Wenda. It emulates the delicate rosy hue you see in young, innocent, and fresh cheeks but can, that can be lost with age. With this blusher, you can now paint the youth back in. It looks best when it expresses through a bit of tan. Uh, this is a pretty pink hue for lips and cheeks. Works with all skin tones. So I have it on my cheeks and I have it on my lips. Now I did mix in just a tiny bit of the illuminator um, so that does change the color a little bit um, and then just some of the like logistics or whatever the details berry flux vita increases hyaluric acid to moisturize the skin protecting the epidermis from dehydration microfine pigment technology ensures high color performance and long lasting finish creamy blendable weightless hydrating glamour on the go and then Wenda his Norman Parkinson's Wife and Muse is on this packaging. She was actress, model, and author. I was introduced to Norman by Cecil Beaton. And they met in 1947 and remained together for the rest of their lives. That's kind of sweet and romantic, isn't it? I just, I like this collection. I just think it's so pretty. I mean, whether it's worth spending all this money for packaging, I, I think is definitely a valid question. Um, like I said, I, I do like Charlotte Tilbury products. I don't absolutely love them. Um, and I do think, as much as I'd love to have the whole collection, I think that's just not going to happen. I think that's a little crazy. But I'm so tempted. So this is what it looks like. It's got a great mirror. I mean, these are beautiful. The quality of these seems great. You have rose gold, so this is kind of more of a pink as opposed to the darker burgundy of the packaging regularly. And then you have kind of the rose gold instead of the black and gold of the regular. And so it's barely going to show up on my finger. But when I swatch it, 
you can see it's a warm pink, almost like it's got a touch of coral in there. So yes, it's kind of like a baby soft pink, but when she says for all complexions, it's warmed up a little bit so that um, it's going to work across more skin tones. If it had been just super cool baby pink, which is what, kind of my worry about the lipstick, the lighter one, I just, I felt like the red veered a little coral, the lighter one, the matte, veered a little maybe too cool toned for me and too light. Um, so it's really beautiful. And so you can see the color. Let me just blend some in my cheeks. You can see it's a stiff formula. And I'm not going to blend it all the way in so you can see it better. But it blends in just beautifully. I love it as a cheek flush. I, these are actually my favorite kind of cheek products, especially in the summer. I mean, I don't really have a tan. I've been avoiding the sun this year um, just because I'm aging and want to keep what's left. Uh, but um, I love these kind of soft flush pinks that are supposed to give you that vibrant glow. And I also, since I've got dry skin, I really like cream formulas. I especially like cream formulas in the summertime. If you're going outside the pool, the beach, or whatever, I hate powders. I feel like it gets all icky gross on my face. But um, if I'm at the pool and I've got something like this, then it just it wears a lot better. So I really like this. On the lips, I like it less, which seems to be the norm for most of these cheek lip products. There are very few that I really love on the lips. So you can see, it does actually, it wears about an hour, maybe a little, an hour and a half, uh, maybe even longer. It's so light, it barely adds much to my natural lip color, so it's kind of hard to see. I mean, I can, I can see it, um, but it's giving like a no makeup kind of a look. So if you like that look, then I think you'll really like this. But the color is going to vary because it is a little bit sheer. I mean, it, it looks a little bit sheer. No, it is a little bit sheer. It's the color that you get is going to be a soft pink, pink flush, but it's very much going to be influenced by the natural color of your lips. So I think if you're a lighter to medium complexion, you've got some pigmentation in your lips, I think it'll work on the, your lips. If you have a super dark complexion, I think you can still get away with this on the cheeks, but mm, maybe not. Um, you might need to use it as a base, which is actually a good thing to do in hot weather anyway, using a cream underneath a powder. It works better. So this is the other one. This is the Illuminator and the highlighter. $65. And I'm going to tell you some interesting things about this because I was swatching through my, this is not going to show up so much, but it's basically um, a rose, rosy gold. It's like a lighter pale gold with just a soft little bit of rose in it, soft little bit of pink. Um, and I, I swatched it against almost all my highlighters that I could think of that had this kind of color. And honestly, these two pieces together really reminded me of the Tom Ford Summer Collection more than anything else. So I pulled that out. And so the palette, Pink Glow, the highlighter is almost the same, except it has a little bit less of that pink in it. So let me... They're very similar, although... Oh no, wait, it wasn't the highlighter. I'm sorry. My mistake. It wasn't the highlighter. It was the, uh, the other, this one right here, which is kind of like a highlighter blush, like a peachy highlighter pink blush. So this is super close. I don't know if you can see it. Super close. It's actually just a little bit more peach with the Charlotte Tilbury being a little bit more kind of a pink and gold, but very, very close. And then this blush is actually a similar tone. It's just a lot darker. So if you really liked this collection, um, but you didn't get it, these may be a kind of a dupe. And I have this on my eyes. I always like using this type of illuminator on my eyes. And then I also line. And then I also have it dotted right here. So you can see it gives this like really pretty, pretty gold kind of glisten. I could really see this in the summer with a tan. It is slightly metallic. So I kind of feel like when I put this on, you can almost see my pores a little bit more. Um, but it's really pretty. And I saw someone online who was posting on a beauty board who said that for her, she's got darker skin than I do, for her she could actually use it all over as an illuminator. For me, it's a little too dark for that. I can really just use it like this, which is how I use it. And you can see, it's really pretty. So what did they say about this one? And then I'm gonna end the video. Uh, this captures the useful soft focus light of Parkinson's lens again. Again, encased in the glamour of vintage Hollywood, which I kind of like I like this kind of soft look on the face, especially in the summertime. And so the Dreamy Glow Highlighter is soft mood lit youth highlighter that creates peaches and cream dreamy skin. 
so it's peaches and cream with a little gold. It's a perfect blend of pearl and pigment to enhance your complexion, scattering light and opalescence across the features. Transitioning skin from winter to golden summer in one easy swipe. I don't know, I think I'm a little pale for that, but okay. With golden mother of pearl tones, that is absolutely a great way of describing it. This highlighting youth powder uses flex light technology to capture light and radiate it across the skin for a dreamy soft focused look. And this is Carmen Del Orifice, shot by Norman Parkinson for Vogue in the Bahamas. And uh, Carmen's dreamy, ethereal beauty, perfect almond eyes, beautiful heart, lips, and killer cheekbone. He took pictures of her when she was first a teenager. And she's actually still gracing catwalks today. But I look at that waist. Like, wow. Tiny, tiny. But these are beautiful. So overall, I, I really like the two pieces I get got um, in this collection. They're beautiful. They're just really beautiful. They're just like, wow, so pretty. Um, and this is the kind of stuff that I actually wear, uh, increasingly wear too, because it's just so easy and effortless and just great for hot weather. Great, great all the time. I mean, I live in California, so, um, so I'm a fan of these. Am I going to get more? Probably not. I think I'm probably done with this collection, but we'll see. You never know. Um, anyway, that's all I have to say about this. And thanks for watching. If you have other pieces in the collection, or if there's something I absolutely, absolutely must have that I don't have, um, I'm tempted by some of the other pieces. I would love to get feedback, insight. Or you can just say, Megan, that's it. Just stop shopping. Um, I would like that advice, too. Anyway, please subscribe on YouTube. That helps me a lot. And thanks. <laughs>